good morning once again. Welcome. Glad to have you with me today with some good seeds to plant, uh, especially a good one today. Uh, Ezekiel 42 through 44 and Revelation 22. And from Revelation 22 comes just a wonderful, wonderful thing to contemplate. Verse number four of the 22nd chapter says this, They shall see his face and his name shall be on their foreheads. When you read this in the context, it's just a glorious, glorious opportunity for us to remember and to think about and have before our, uh, before our thinking, uh, uppermost in our minds every day is that we get to see him face to face. It's just another one of the, uh, passages that I refer to as one of the likeness passages that correspond, corresponds to, uh, first John chapter three, verse two, where it says that we will be like him for we shall see him as he is. What an incredible, uh, indescribable moment for you and I who know the Lord to see him in all of his glory. What a wonderful, wonderful thing. Wonderful beyond my ability to even, uh, imagine it, to even think of it. Uh, what will it, what will it be like to see and realize that we are like him? restored to original intent, never to know sin, sorrow, sickness, or any of those things, disease, any of that ever again. For you and I who know the Lord, there is a glorious future that awaits us. Uh, those of us whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm, I'm reminded as I think about that of the old hymn, face to face I shall see him far beyond the crystal sea, face to face in all his glory. We shall see him by and by. Wow, what a hope, what a joy, uh, what what holy living that should inspire in our hearts and lives and the way that we live. I'm just so thankful for that hope that we have. It is a glorious hope of seeing him face to face in all his glory. Amen. Well, uh, you know, I just want to remind you of, of the, the importance of being in the word again today. Uh, this is something that I have been doing for uh, almost 12 years now, hardly have missed any time in the Word at all. Struggled with my own uh, devotions, you know, as a pastor, uh, I'm in the Word all the time, so you know, I kind of excused myself. But boy, we need that, that exclusive time where we are with the Lord alone and hearing from Him. And uh, uh, take the time every day. I have this little acrostic that I came across, a book called The Divine Mentor, uh, SOAP. Uh, stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, and Prayer. And it has been such a, 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 well, an integral part of my own life and my own devotional life. And I just, I just want to encourage you to be in the Word on a regular basis, how important it is, and especially in the days that we are living in. Boy, when you see all the corruption and vice and horrible things that are going on in our world, uh, without the Word of God, we could be really discouraged. But when we read passages like we read today, what an encouragement it is to our heart to keep on keeping on. And I just want to encourage you in that today. So may the Lord richly bless you as you continue to do that. And, uh, you know, give us a like once in a while. Drop a note. Boy, that means a lot. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, if you've come across it and I haven't subscribed to it, do that. It uh, just helps us to get a little bit more exposure. Just thankful for that as we try to spread the good news, the gospel, wherever we can. So uh, thanks for doing that. Oh, and by the way, if you sign up, if you subscribe, uh, nobody's going to call you. So you have no fear. So anyway, may the Lord richly bless you today, I pray.